is the Argentinian national team. Right. And I think there's going to be a lot of focus on them. Well, of course, there'll be a lot of focus on them, but it's sort of being the last time Messi will be at the top of his game in a World Cup. Um, and Mascherano being 33 and Argentina having such a strong team, do you think him not being and participating in one of the top leagues in Europe is going to affect his status with the national team? And will he almost be kind of looked down on for playing in China and maybe not at the highest competition? And will they then say, well, if he can't play in the highest competition, why should he be playing on our national team? I think if it was another player, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. He's so respected and so revered in Argentina and around the world, he really should be. Uh, he's going to go to China and play for maybe two months before the World Cup. I don't think their season starts until March. So he'll play for two months. He'll be fresh. Uh, he'll be fresher than he would be sitting on the bench for Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, he will be sharp, sharper than he would be sitting on the bench for Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, than he would be sitting on the bench. So it could work for him. Uh, he doesn't strike me as the type to go somewhere and maybe dog it like Carlos Tevez did in China. Right. Um, you know, he'll he'll take it seriously and. You know, you're really looking at it almost like a two-month training camp, uh, change of scenery. He's been kind of fighting and frustrated since last July or August when it became clear he wasn't going to be, uh, you know, Barcelona's starting center back. Been yeah. fighting injuries, so um, he's going to have a lot of energy, and he should get at least, you know, five to ten games before he leaves and joins Argentina for the World Cup. Yeah, you know I tell you no 